Today we're going to look at adjustable shelves and how we can alter them parametrically using variables. Here I have a uh, open fronted shelf unit and this product is parametric. I can come into article designer and modify this article by clicking on a part and, and changing the overall height if need be and width and depth. I also have in here a single adjustable shelf and this is using a linear division of one to one by using a variable. The variable here in this case is just using a default of one pro proving that I have one zone and one zone equally spaced and no matter what the height is this will always stay equally spaced. Once I have my variable in place, however, I've got the ability to change this. So I can use an article related variable and come to the shelf number and change my linear division and add in one to one. This will then increase the number of shelves by giving me one to one to one as per the linear division within the article. These can be set up uh, with an XML configurator, or they could also be set up within a family set, which allows for defaults to be configured. If I want to add in more shelves, it's just a case of adding in more gaps. So I'll come back in here. I can add in another one. And it will keep adding in shelves. I've also got the ability to change other parameters of the shelves, so I can select the variable and change, for example, the inset. So I can have a two millimeter reveal, which will bring the front of the shelf forward. So that is two millimeters setback. And I also have the ability to change the type. So in here, if I choose to change from an adjustable shelf to one that is angled. I then have three angled adjustable shelves. Now, if I switch into a wireframe view, we can see that the dials have been put in place and it has moved the shelf flush to the back tight and very flush to the front based on the angle. I can also alter the number and spacings of the shelves as well. So if I go to article related variable now, I can change this to be a zero and then come into the shelf type and change the angle. So here I have a 45 degree angle, but I might change this to be, for example, 35 degrees. And this will now change the spacing of the shelves, but also the angle. And I can go on adding in more if need be. So I can use article related variables and add in two more shelves at a 15 degree angle. can also use article designer now to modify the overall height which will close up the gaps and change the width Now that I'm happy with the design, I can move into creating outputs. First would be to create a drawing. I can do this by window selecting over the product, creating a plan view, an elevation view, and also a section view.
I can then load a template or a border. Set to scale. And then annotate it automatically. I can also use standard AutoCAD dimensions to come in and add any missing dimensions. You'll notice that IMOS has also added in hatching, edging tape details and material. Once my drawing is complete, I can then print this, create other exports and reports, and move on to manufacture. I'll save the order. And generate CNC information. Using the automatic program generator, I can choose a workflow which can combine multiple CNC processes into one. CNC files are being generated down at the bottom and then I have a report showing the progress. With the CNC files generated I can use my CNC software in this case B Suite I will open up the order. Generated today. And in here, I can then find my side panel. Which has all of my drilling on there. Thanks for watching.